Why is this man singing? Ah. So in love. With you. Perhaps it's because new polls are giving a re-election bid that once seemed mostly uphill a sudden New Year's lift. Baby, don't you want to go? Just hours after the president took the White House microphone to sing along with blues legends, a new APGFK poll put him at or above 50% for the first time in matchups with his likeliest GOP foes. It had him leading Mitt Romney by 8 points, Rick Santorum by 9 points, and Newt Gingrich by 10 points, all well outside the margin of error. His approval rating has ticked upward, but perhaps most significantly, his approval rating on the economy has moved up 9 points since December. Indeed, Obama's prospects have closely tracked the economy. The jobless rate is down, the stock market up. Americans' optimism about the economy is climbing. You now have 30% saying that the economy in the U.S. is good, which is the highest number that we've recorded since summer of 2009. Of course, the economy remains Obama's biggest vulnerability, too. This president made some promises when he was running. He said he would turn this economy around in three years, or he'd be looking at a one-term proposition. We're here to collect. Still, it also helps Obama. The GOP primary fight is continuing, the candidates blasting each other. Meantime, he's gone on the offensive, bludgeoning Republicans into extending the payroll tax cut and attacking them as protectors of privilege. Hello, Milwaukee! And suddenly, he's everywhere, campaigning, giving interviews, raising cash. We wake up every day, we think about what this country needs. That goes double for the First Lady, who's been plugging her campaign to eat healthy and exercise. Unquestionably, she's also helped the campaign. So is this strategy connecting? Almost 8 in 10 Americans say that the president is a likable person, and Michelle Obama's favorability rating tops 7 in 10. So they're really very popular and likable people in the eyes of the public. And the president has surely been relaxed of late. Among his many talents is the ability to carry a tune. But will the singing Obama become a fixture? The next time, maybe at the inauguration um, next year. The president's strategists are quick to point out there is an eternity between now and November and they're still expecting a close, hard-fought campaign. Still, between the economy and the polls, the president himself seems to be humming a different tune. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.